In this video, I'm going to talk a little about AIML predicates. In AIML, predicates are like variables, where we store information about the client who is chatting with the bot. Let's look at our bot, Unique. I've created a file called client.aiml, which is going to contain categories we use to store and retrieve information about the client. One thing we'd like to remember is the client's name. So we've created a category with a pattern, my name is star. I've mentioned before that it is a good design practice in AIML to put the bot's response in a category where the pattern has the fewest number of words. Then we can link all synonyms of that pattern to the simpler form. In this case, we have linked the response to the input pattern my name is star to the pattern name me star. If the client says my name is Joe, the response is going to be exactly the same as if he or she had said name me Joe. The response to the client stating his or her name is going to be nice to meet you followed by their name. We use the AIML tag star to access whatever, the, whatever matched the wildcard star in the pattern. Then we use the AIML tag set to remember the client's name. The AIML tag set uses an XML attribute called name to identify the name of the predicate. So for example, we can use set name equals age, set name equals gender, and set name equals location. But in this case, it's a little confusing because the attribute is called the same thing as the name of the predicate name. So we have to write set name equals name. Now, we've also created a companion category with the pattern, what is my name? Here, the bot uses the get tag to access the predicate value for name. Let's try talking to the bot. Select the Pandora Bot's train section. We can say, my name is Richard. And the bot reply will be, nice to meet you, Richard. We can ask, what is my name? And the bot will reply with, you told me your name is Richard. So the bot is able to use a simple predicate to remember the client's name. Let's go back to the client.aiml file. We've created a category with a pattern that allows the client to tell the bot his or her age. Here again, we're going to use a reduction link to link this category to one with a pattern having a smaller number of words. Bear with me, the reason for this will be explained later. The actual response here is in a category with the pattern my age is star. By default, when Pandora Bots uses a set tag to store the value of an AIML predicate, that value is passed through the set tag and printed. You can think of an AIML template as a kind of implicit print statement. Everything inside the template tag is printed or output by the bot. Earlier, when we used set to save the client's name, the set tag returned whatever was inside, in that case, the value of star. Sometimes we want to set the value of a predicate, but not return it or print it. AIML has a tag called think used for this purpose. Pandora, P 
Pandora Bots evaluates any AIML inside the think tag but does not return it. The result is only evaluated as a side effect. So when the client says, I am X years old or my age is X, the bot replies with, thank you for telling me your age. Then it uses the set tag to store the value of the predicate age. The think tag prevents the value of age from being printed. Now we've also created a companion category with the pattern, how old am I, in order to retrieve the value of the predicate age. Let's try chatting with the bot. Go to the Pandora bot's train section. If we say, I am 26 years old. The bot will rep reply with, thank you for telling me your age. If we ask, how old am I? The bot says, you said you were 26. Now, let's go back to the client.aiml file. Here's another example. We've created a category with the pattern, my location is star, so that the bot can remember the client's location. Like the previous example, it uses the think tag to evaluate set and blank the response. Suppose we tried to access the value of a predicate with a get before it had been stored with a set. What happens is determined in the Pandora Bot's configure section. Right now, the configure section has only one field. Later, we plan to add more bot configuration options here. For now, the configure section allows us to set the default value of gets. When the bot tries to access the value of a predicate which has not been set, the value returned will be whatever we specify here. In this case, we set the predicate default value to be OM or OM. Now back to client.aiml. We've created a category with the pattern, where am I? If the client has not yet specified his or her location, we would like the bot to reply with something more intelligent than your location is om. So we use the SRAI operator to link the response to where am I to another pair of categories with the pattern prefix client location. If the client location is known, the get will retrieve it. Otherwise, the value of this get is om. SRAI links this category to the one with the pattern client location om. When the location is known, the SRAI links to the second category with the pattern client location star. Let's try this in a chat. First, I ask the bot, where am I? And the bot replies with, I don't know where you are. Now I say, my location is Oakland, California. And the bot says, what's it like there? I ask, where am I again? And the bot's reply is, your location is Oakland, California. This concludes a brief introduction to AIML predicates.